welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We're going to be jumping in again, and I want to go someone to unlock a tainted character this time around. It's been too long. Um, who should we go as? Do we have tainted? We do have a tainted Apollyon unlocked. So tainted Bethany, tainted Forgotten, Eden. Ugh. Lazarus is kind of a scary one. Eve, Blue Baby, Isaac's probably a good one to go for. Uh, getting Tainted Isaac's a good idea. Do we have Tainted Lilith? Where's Lilith? We don't have Tainted Lilith. Let's try and do Tainted Lilith. Um, Lilith's a character I, fe I enjoy quite a lot, especially with the mod that makes uh, Familiars adopt our tier effect. And also, I'm pretty sure Lilith to Beast, or Tainted Lilith to Beast, can't remember which one it is, unlocks C-section. So, would very, very much like to have that. So let's, uh, let's try and remember to do a beast run here and go and get that um and see what we can do see if we're gonna have a good time by the way by the way i realized i've been playing a lot of the hollow recently i did two episodes pretty much back to back but i'm gonna be doing another one reasonably soon as well because one of the main problems that people uh, have mentioned in the comments and i've mentioned in my videos with uh, the hollow is that unfortunately he doesn't have many synergies for modded items of course well 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 I actually found out how to modify the, um, you know, I'm definitely going to go for a, a double here. I actually found out how to modify some of the code for the character to add compatibility with some modded items. Now, I will say it is somewhat limited. Um, we got tears accelerate as they travel, gaining piercing after reaching high enough speed. Awesome. Um, yeah, I, I will say it is a little bit limited just because... Um, I can only give, like, the effects that are already pre-programmed in. So, like, um, flaming, fear, poison, explosive, bleed. I can only, I can only utilize the tier effects that are already there. But I was able to apply those tier effects to many items from the modding scene that fit, including all of the health upgrades actually working correctly for the character. Um, one of the problems with the way that the character works is all the uh, health upgrades were um, predetermined, which meant that it would um, it would work for all the vanilla um, vanilla health ups, but it wouldn't work for the modded health ups. But I fixed that, and then yeah, like any item from any mod that would apply fire to an enemy, it now actually will apply fire. It'll spawn fire based flies. Uh, any that would add confusion adds confusion. Any that would freeze adds freeze. Any that adds uh, fear, adds fear. Any that adds herming, adds herming. All that sort of good stuff has been uh, has been sorted, um, which I'm, I'm very, very happy about. Um, it makes, uh, makes the character a little bit better. Now, it doesn't mean that every single item now has a synergy. Of course, there's a ton of them that still don't, but a lot more of them do. A lot more, including some vanilla items that I felt like stuff like Midas's touch now uh, will sometimes create flies that will uh, generate money on hitting an enemy. Stuff like that, things things that I feel are reasonably fitting. Um, and as as we um, as we play um, the the character, as as we sort of get on with the character and see how we do. People can give me suggestions for items we come across that I could apply different tier effects to. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. A, it's exactly what I was looking for, baby. That speed upgrade is super, super nice. Very happy to have it. Um, and yeah, I think we're just going to go. Do we have the ability to buy a key, actually? I would maybe buy a key to open that chest if I can. Unfortunately not. Um, I think we just go to the next floor in that case. I feel pretty happy about where we stand so far. This um, this this item that's added, this accelerating piercing is pretty good for us. We do unfortunately have a key required here with no key available. As for the question of the day today, um, if you could create a mod for a game, any game, what would be your like ideal thing that you'd create? What would be your like dream mod that that, that you know is not going to happen or like you? you don't think's gonna happen that you'd love to add to any game, including Isaac. Um, for me, oh my god. 
For me, one thing that I've always wanted um, is a mod for Enter the Gungeon that adds a new page to the Ammonomicon that shows descriptions of all the synergies. Because right now, there is literally no in-game way to read about descriptions of uh, synergies unless a modder specifically adds it to their item. Um, and so having just a, an Ammonomicon page with all of the vanilla synergies... Uh, ooh, double tokens here. Okay. Uh, with all of the vanilla um, synergies in it, and, like, if it could be added to with mods as well, that'd be even better. But that'd just be amazing. So, I'm thinking with, um... This is a very, very bad uh, room for me here. I'm thinking with, uh... This setup, I want to increase my shot speed, right? Because once it reaches a certain shot speed... Also, unsure right now as to where I'm going to end up spending my tokens. Um, where I'm going to end up utilizing those. Because there's obviously a few different ways in which we can use those correctly um realistically i think the best way is to try and hope for a soul heart from a tinted rock and just go with like triple soul hearts but there is other opportunities too like for example i mean we could go for the key i'm, I'm just gonna see what we get on this floor and and play it by ear i don't want to pick up anything until we've sort of seen the full suite of our possibilities essentially because, yeah, there's plenty of possibilities here. This is slightly annoying room here. Okay, luckily, we got through it reasonably easily. Good, good, good. Yeah, because there's just, there's just plenty of things that could work well for this. Now, don't step in the way of the spiky boys. Oh, really? Really? One of my most hated things in this game... It's goddamn flies sitting over rocks. There, I'm pretty sure there is a mod out there that fixes it, but I'm not sure. I'll have to go have a look. But yeah, I'm not really worried about time here because we're going for the beast, so I'm going to take my take my time, chill out a little bit, and hope for the best. But yeah, I, I, like, I like what we've cultivated thus far on this run. I think it's good. We'll pick that up because we're not going to duplicate that. So far, it's looking like we're just going to duplicate a key, which isn't particularly exciting, I'll be honest. Um, but I guess it's better than nothing. Okay. Calm down, you. So many pennies. Yeah, so I think we're just going to go for the keys, to be honest. Although, actually, before we do... We should probably play this machine a little bit. Actually, do you know what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Blow this guy up. Ah, it's only a speed upgrade. I don't think that's worth it. I was going to maybe duplicate that. But I've already got such good speed. We did get the fuzzy penny. Um, doesn't really help us much. I'm hoping for a soul heart or a good card from this to duplicate. So far, no luck. Darn. Um, looks like we're shit out of luck, really. Let me go do my boss first, and I'll come back. See how we feel after that. Yeah, I was hoping that guy gave me, like, a damage up, and it could get triple damage ups. Okay, luckily, this guy with piercing is not so bad at all, as long as we can keep our distance from him so we gain the piercing. It becomes very, very easy when you can just shoot straight through his armor, essentially, his flies. Good, good. Uh, I will go Devil Deal here because our health is looking real good. Um, allows you to use your active without having enough charge, resulting in negative charge. Having negative charge reduces your movement speed and shot speed. Persists even if you switch your active. I'm going to take that. That's pretty good. Um, especially for the beast fight because it means we can use our active multiple times. Um, but yeah, otherwise pretty good stuff. Um, we move on. Yeah, unfortunately, we're just going to have to go for the keys, which is pretty boring, I realize, but it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Right. Grab this. Oh, Lord. We got ourselves some scatter bombs. Which does give us five bombs, which is reasonably nice. I will take one such bomb and use it on this. Did you just... Stole some of my HP when that's not what I intended at all. 
cheeky bastard. I'd rather keep child leash at this point. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We even got our bomb back there as well. Do you know what? I might as well do this just to see if we get a crawl space. It's worth, worth checking just in case. Right. Good to go. We, I suppose we could check for secret room. Eh, I'm not that arsed. Like, what, what, I've already been on this floor too long. I'm, I'm so impatient with this game. I really need to learn to, like, regain some of the patience that I've lost. Um, great. We do have three spike chests here. We could open all of these on one, and I'm going to do exactly that. It's it's obviously a black heart lost there, but... Do you know what? Let's use our uh, active here for a negative charge. Good, good. I think we got a good amount out of that for half a black heart. These guys are kind of tricky, these enemies. We're getting them reasonably deaded, but... Still, it's taking a bit longer than I would have hoped. Okay, good. They just move around quite a lot, don't they? And the squiggly T is a little bit hard to dodge. Not totally, but a little bit. There you go. Not too bad. And then, yeah, our charge becomes back to normal. I really like this idea for this uh, this battery item. It's a really, really cool idea. Ooh, bad hit there. This is just a kind of rough room, to be honest. Almost hurt myself with my own bomb there. That would have been mighty stupid. So many keys, baby. So many keys. Unfortunately, we do have... The awful, the evil crab. Although, for some reason, it just attacked the enemy there. Is that something they always do? That I just didn't know about? I see a little shadow, crab boy. Oh my god, thank you, crab. Finally get out of the ground. Do crabs normally attack other enemies? Is that something they always do? Oh. Just an annoying enemy. Get out from underground, you bitch. Dude, this guy's so frustrating to hit. <laughs> God damn. There you go. Finally. Interesting. Um, I'll leave that there for now. But um, I wonder if we can get more than one of those. Oh, wait. Will it use this? I'm pretty sure it will, won't it? Yeah, okay. Didn't quite work. For some reason, I thought it'd give me a mysterious gift. Still, that's pretty good. It's kind of a, a... The long way around of getting the exact same thing. Oh my god. I constantly lose track of those little beady fuckers. Oh, we're taking some damage here. This is a... That's an evil, evil room. What is this? This room's horrible. That room is horrible. We just lost our devil deal chance for no reason whatsoever. Ooh, okay. Um, I am willing to sacrifice to potentially get a... Uh... Mum's box is also really good, but I'm definitely taking 9 volt here. Makes our active so much better. So, so, so much better. Right. Health is not in a super good spot now, but yeah, we can we can use that active way, way more than we normally would here, so. I will. You guys are kind of going a bit crazy. We need a damage up, really. Oh god, careful of the little fuckers. They're going to dive on my head. Okay, they're dead. Oh wait, there's another one of you? Excuse me, little fella. Oh, don't jump on me again. This guy's kind of tricky as well. I'm having a hard time finding an angle to shoot him at. We got there eventually. Trying to kill them in the uh, in the zone. There you go.
Come over here, you. Hey, beautiful. Double black hearts out of that, and I'll take the two pills as well. Look up and verp. Ooh, bloody double look up. Okay. Very, very good stuff. But yeah, I pretty much want to be using my active all the damn time right now. Of course I got hit there. Dude, one thing that... Uh, it, I, I, it's one inconsistency, and I, I may be wrong here. I may be wrong, but that, that enemy wasn't a champion, right? One thing I, I, I really, really dislike about Isaac in general, um, and this goes for the vanilla game as well as modded, is when some enemies deal full heart damage and others don't. If you're before the wound, they shouldn't deal full heart damage unless they're a champion. Simple as. I don't know why some enemies think that they should. I don't I don't get it. It, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty sure that enemy that just hit me was not a... Um, was not a... What you call it? Can't remember now. What the hell am I trying to talk about? Uh, not a champion, there you go. He was not a champion and still dealt full heart damage to me. And I, I, I don't know. I don't think that's okay. Lost a whole ass black heart to that guy. Probably go back and get that. Good thing is now, about runes like this, we immediately get a char our charge back. Oh, this is a, a get again. Th the rooms with the lily pads, really, really rough in my opinion. Really, really hard because they, they they block you in to like specific locations. It really causes some issues. Like even just these goddamn frogs, I have such a I'm having such a hard time like finding and hitting them. Another pill there. Tears down. God damn it. Didn't really need to speed up either. Bit of a shame. Right, let's use this twice. I really love the fact that we can use our active multiple times. Really, really cool. Um, and then that's fine, I guess. Cool. Keep going down. We definitely need to get a trinket at some point to uh, leave an item room. I know we've left some on previous floors. It's probably a little bit of a whiff on my half. This is pretty good. Uh, basically, enemies can drop coins that have higher value but can also minus money off of us. While we have low money, these have nothing but value for us. That creep would like to go away so I can pick this one up. So that one's only worth one. The red one's worth one, I think. Oh, Cambian Conception just gave me uh, the leech. Which I wasn't expecting. This one's worth five, I think. Oh my lord. Taking some damage I should not be taking. Yeah, we lost five there. Thank you, leechy leechy. Even though we're taking some bad damage here, our health isn't particularly terrible, so I don't mind. Good, good. Money there. But yeah, this should hopefully overall give us quite a lot of money. Oh, that was bad. I kind of just stood there and took that. Remember that yellow creep is damaging. Something I always forget. Do you know what? Annoying enemy. Get bombed. This, this guy's a pain in the ass, too. I can barely goddamn get in there. Oh, shit. Awesome. Right, okay. Child Leash, you are very, very good. But I'm going to put you in here because this is literally a plus one damage up. Very, very good as, as far as trinkets go. Lost money again there. It's always going to be a bit of a gamble, but it can, it can ball out of control pretty easily because it is literally a 50-50. Good. Try and keep our soul heart alive to try and get another devil deal going if we can. Not too worried about this guy. Especially when he's got his tears stuck. Okay, 
got him. Not particularly hard guy. These guys are pretty annoying because they leave a lot of creep about. Definitely feeling not having Charles Leash right now. It's a little bit of a bummer. Oh, that one took away all my money. God damn it. It's all a bit of a gamble, though. Can't remember what you do. Are you a double charger? Yes, you are. You are a double charger. Luckily, you're easily taken care of. Piercing there is very, very nice. And purple fires can still shoot at us, though, so be very wary of that. Stay far away from them. Good. One penny and another penny. Just summon this guy. Oh, damn. Legendary. Wow. Whoa. Okay. This guy's kind of sick. I didn't I didn't know that, that that card had, like, ranks to it. Apparently, we got a legendary one there, which is intriguing. But seems like he's going to be, uh... He's going to be kind of amazing. Because <laughs> he has quite a lot of HP because he's a tainted guy. And he seems to have a good few attacks under his belt. Well, look at that thing. That's amazing. Right. Whoa, look at this guy. This champion version of this dude looks awesome. Holy shit. I've never seen this champion before, but he's cool. Oh, no, you killed him. He was going to be our, our hero, baby. This is really cool. I don't know what's going on with this guy, but I like him. Foul Gut is real good. Um, of course, Rotten Heart-wise, it does put us in a bit of an awkward position. But, Rotten Heart-wise, it also means we do a lot more damage, so... Oh, look at that. Look at that. The triple. If I take all three and hope for the best, I think I shall. Yes. Okay, so now don't pick up any more of those until we've been in our shop. Because we can actually afford something right now. Oh, hello. Stay away from these guys for now. Good. good. Taken care of. So many flies, goddamn. Sadly, not really the shop we're looking for. That was a very good deflection of my bomb there. His coin exploded and knocked away my bomb. Got myself Midas Touch, which I can't imagine is going to be super valuable for us. But right now, we're not touching any more Fitches, Finches, whatever you want to call them. Because we have a lot of money right now. There's a lot to lose. And I'd rather not lose any of it, even though there's so much money available on the floor. It's so tempting. So tempting, but I will leave it. And someone said about when I go on beast runs, I need to be leaving item rooms more often to get planetariums. And you are right, I really should be. Post hat's great. There you go, back up. Okay. Post hat's very nice indeed. Right, let's get out of here. Uh, secret room, maybe? Let's just quickly... See where that could be, potentially here. No. Uh, ba -da 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 -da. Potentially here? Yeah, that seems likely. Need to stop walking into my bombs. Um, two good trinkets, but two that aren't really something I want right now. Right, let's keep it moving. We got Hurst Hat as well, which is really nice here. Doesn't help us with anything specifically, but it's just nice to have. And it's a slight chance to deflect shots as well, which is always a bonus. I think, honestly, right now, uh, Foul Gut with all the Rotten Hearts is going to be kind of our saviour for a little while. Until we lose some of these Rotten Hearts, I think they're going to be kind of clearing out most rooms for us. I will do this, yeah. Use two of my active as well. I forget it doubles my leech as well. My leechy buddy. Good stuff. No soul heart from that, sadly. We did get one of these little silver hearts, which are pretty interesting. Oh, 
Please don't touch me. Thank you. I'm going to leave that pill because I'm pretty happy with my stats right now. There's money all over all the floors, but we need to find our shop before we do anything with any of that. This is certainly an interesting room, but we got through it. I think, again, my flies kind of saved me there. Yeah, the flies are just going to be obscene right now. Especially with the extra damage we have going on. Good. Come on, shop. Where art thou? This is the boss. This is not the shop. This is the boss. Although, this is depths one. We could probably just do the boss. Again, double use of the active here. It's kind of like having car battery with an associated cost. But then again, it's, it's, it's a little bit better than car battery because we can take it a little further. Now just remember, this will get rid of Rotten Hearts if we use it. Nah, no chance. No chance of using Sack Alter. Soz game. Ain't no chance. Oh, that's one of those hearts. I tried to get it, but failed. They spawn pretty often when you're at half a half a heart, so. There's one. Again, the poop goddamn made me miss it. It's kind of a rough room here. Ah, bloody hell, I lost it. Lost the silver heart. These guys are real annoying right now. Oh, dude, stop. Ugh! It's fucking enemies. Fuck you. I hate those goddamn enemies. Stay fucking still. <laughs> Just move in such a peculiar manner. Lost a rotten heart and a burn heart. Oh, we got a planetary planetarium anyways. No need to leave an item room behind. We got one anyways. And we get Terra. Lovely stuff. Very, very happy with Terra. Ooh, Terra with piercing has some insane knockback. Wow. You get 25 cent there as well. Beautiful stuff. The amount of potential money here is kind of crazy. I want to actually purchase some stuff first, though. And of course, there's nothing really to purchase. That's pretty good. I don't mind that. Yeah, all these fixtures on the floor are nothing to do with them. I suppose, can I donate? Nah. Nah, that'd be too easy. <laughs> that'd be too easy. Look at this. Look how much money's on the floor there. Or potential money. It's not guaranteed money, I, re I realise, but... Still. Just looking for second secret room if we can find it. I'm not going to search forever, but I might as well look in the somewhat obvious spots. Like all the way at the top of here. Nope, nothing there. Could be at the end of here. Not there. Not there. Not there. Okay. There it is. Sadly, it's just bags of blood. I mean, I will check them anyways, because uh, they can be useful. Like getting a bunch of mini Isaacs and a burn heart. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Um, we've already done the boss. Good, good. Okay. Then we go. We've got a moon card for straight, uh, straight off the bat here. We're looking for our full card now, of course, remember. 
can't destroy the mushrooms, apparently. Pop this. Also, a good thing about Terror as well, which I always forget, is Terror does increase, like, the damage of the, t of the tiers you fire randomly, so, it'll, like, each tier has a slightly different damage value. Pretty good stuff. That's actually really nice. Grimaces get disappeared, and we get a free black heart. Grimaces in certain rooms can be really annoying. Although I will say one problem with it is there are certain rooms that require grimaces to complete that it can somewhat soft lock you in, but th then rooms are very, very uh, uncommon, so it's not like a big concern. Right, I'm hoping our, our shop here has got a donation machine in it so we can just bloody unload a ton of this money because we've just got so much money now and so much potential money lying around. We should be picking up those bombs. Here's our full card. Lovely stuff. There you go. Get them gone. Item room. Oh, we've been to item room. Okay. The shop I'm looking for now then. Second secret room as well there, lovely. Already found our first secret room, so that's good. Gave us a black art and a bunch more mini Isaacs, I like that. Ooh, and another mini Isaac, wow. I love this this mod that adds the mini Isaac hearts. It, they're like, it, it's like, I think it's great because it's something different, which is always nice. Something new is always good. But it doesn't... It's not, like, overpowered or anything, because the mini Isaacs are pretty weak. It's just, like, an addition. Oh, also, are you actually kidding me with no donation machine again? Why? Why is there no donation machine in here, game? This is just rude. So rude. Didn't really need to do this room, to be honest. Goddamn, because all the enemies are like black, like tar. I saw my leech coming towards me and I was like, oh shit, it's an enemy. Oh, apparently I never finished that last room. Okay. Thought I did. Apparently, I just managed to bust through the door and then leave. Suppose I should, suppose I should have known when the Rotten Hearts didn't proc out. Bad damage there from me. I just about to say, there's not much I can do about getting hit in that room. I'm not doing this room again. You can hack off. Took long enough the first time. Quickly check this out. Hey! I did not know I didn't have the D4 unlocked, but there you go. Unlocked the D4, that's good stuff. Bye. Yeah, also, we, we have a very, very easy path through the ascent now because we can just cheese our way through it with terror. Yeah, shouldn't be too difficult to breeze through this. Not good damage, but not insane damage. I don't know how we're going to end up doing against, um, not the beast, the one before, Dogma. Let's use a full card. Right, we did leave a trinket in an item room back somewhere. I can't remember what floor it was on now, so I'm going to have to check them all. Okay. 
careful of these bad boys. Oh shit, we got big boy. Oh my god, this guy's so creepy. He's also not fucking dying. Oh my goodness. That guy was a real issue. Also, like I guess there's a secret room here and it won't let me open it, but eventually it did. Boss disc. You know what? I'm just gonna pop the boss disc now. Boss disc. We get what we get. Okay, I didn't even need the death switches in this room. Easy breezy. I kind of forgot we had a shop on this floor to play around with as well, to be honest. They always forget that, like, when you do the ascent, this is a full floor. Okay. Pick you out. No thank you with your stabby stabbies, good sir. Charged key. It's not super necessary, but I'll take it. Oh. So why won't this open? It's not open, that's why, fool. I like it when I have the opportunity to shortcut through uh, rooms like that to do so. Slightly frustrating room here, but it's not taking us too long. Oh, hello. That's awesome. Thank you for the dry baby. There is a lot of skulls in this room. Free trial is over. I'm just gonna enter and re- like exit and re-enter that room to get rid of the skull boys because there's so many of them there. Dry baby's fucking cooking up a storm right now. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies in here to kill, but a lot more annoying to deal with all the, uh, the skull helmet boys, whatever you want to call them guys. Come on now. Die, my good friends. Die. Okay, we got rid of all of them. Devil card, moon card, black heart, black heart, joker, which I don't even know what joker does on this floor. Does it function as normal? I guess so. It does. We have sin robes, baby. Okay. Shop time. Where are you at? Where's that item room and shop are both things we're missing right now? I thought there was an enemy for a second there that I realized it's just one of the many uh, thingies I have installed. Uh, keepers. Bugger off you. Make them worth towards the second secret room at the moment. Hey, everything all in one spot. That's what I like to see. Calm down, Brimstony boys. So we'll definitely take whatever the second one is. Singe stones, good stuff. Did I blow up the donation machine? I must have done, right? I must have done. Because it's just never here. <laughs> I must have just blown it up. Unfortunately, a bunch of stuff here we don't particularly care about. Damn. Okay, not much else to see there. Let's go to the next floor. So much money and nothing to do with it. Why did I blow up my donation machine? God damn it. Oh. Yeah, I, to be fair, I forget. At this point, I should just skip through the rooms. I can skip through. And you are taken care of as well. Good, good. Moon card, I don't think we care about. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure I left it on the caves one or two. It's gone. Just get over it. But just just for the sake of it, let's let's just check every item room. Why why don't we? Not in that one. I suppose I could play this machine a little bit and see if I get a payout. I'm not sure what the other payouts I can get are from this. Apart, apart from portals and potential cards and mapping. I think this kind of thing can pay out with items like tarot cloth. But I, I, I genuinely am not sure. I'm just going to play around with it until we see. Come on, little fella. Not what I was hoping for, but there you go. Like spawning portals right now, doesn't he? Or just using cards in front of me. Okay, I guess I guess he told me to fuck off, and so I will. Yeah, honestly, on especially with these dudes. On these rooms, just escape. Ow. Very, very bad hit there. Sadly, it's it's a little bit difficult to um, do what I want with the rocks being a little bit delayed. I can't just shoot them right at the door the way I want to. Nothing in there. Didn't think there would be, but had to check. Okay, up we go. Productive and disturbed, just like his father. Really, I just want to say, really hate that enemy. That hits me very often. Here it is. Okay, good stuff. We got it. Black heart there, we can't get. And yourself. The rest of this, I'm hoping I don't take too much damage skipping through the rooms. Like I said, it's a little bit tricky with certain rooms to do it. Bloody hell. <laughs> Had to take damage there, didn't I? God damn it. Like I said, it's just very hard to actually hit the door sometimes. If it's a straight shot through the room to the door, the piercing should cover it. Or, at this point, I might as well just, like, actually kill the rooms. I'm spending so much more health in trying to skip them. <laughs> I say I might as well just stop trying to skip them, but I'll never stop. Good. I realise I'm skipping out on room clear rewards from doing this as well. Oh. See what I mean? I fucking- I can't hit the goddamn door. It's the goddamn stupid delay this guy has. It's clearly not that way. Fucking hell. <laughs> Enemies are rough, man. I've lost a lot of HP here. Oh my goodness. Way more HP than I should have. Dude, I accidentally cracked a pot and fucking spawned a spider on myself. Are you kidding me? Why? Why? Anyways, we made it back up here. Good, good. Betty by times. Oh, I got, I got another Incubus from taking damage. Awesome. Wasn't wasn't expecting that. Very nice. You have been unlocked and the Harlot Heart has as well. Awesome stuff. Right. We'll pop one usage of this here. And the rest will save for the fight. 
I'm hoping dry babies, like, we've got two of them. They do a good amount of damage for us. We've also got a, a few slipped ribs here. I'm not sure where the slipped ribs came from. Oh, that's that. That was a really rough position to be in for that there. Luckily, he's kind of addicted to the godhead shots right now, which are the easiest ones to dodge, in my opinion. Yeah, as long as he keeps doing the light one, I'll be happy. That bomb went fucking miles away. Please don't do your spinnies. He did the spinnies, but oh, 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 my bomb got him. Ha, ha, ha. Get shit on, boy. Look at that. Look at how many fucking uses I just got out of this. Has a... Sadly, my dry babies are all the way at the back of the queue, so they're not going to get hit very often. Oh, actually, I suppose if he turns around, they will. The most important thing is, we got a lot of Incubus. Or Incubi. <clears throat> These guys are just going off. Unfortunately, we also have a lot of leeches that are very stuck below us. <clears throat> Look at the dry babies go. <laughs> Literally got four triggers in a row there, that's perfect. Look at all the money as well. There's another one. And another one. This is this is going very well for us right now. I don't think we have any worries at all. I'm just sad about my leeches though. Why can't you fly, my pretties? Why can't you fly? And we got another active use. God damn, we've had so many uses of it now. This item's so good for Lilith. Yeah, hit my dry babies with all of this. My dry babies will mess you up. See? There's another dry baby. You can't handle the driest of fellas. Oh, that bomb went fucking miles away. Ah, you triggered the dry babies once again. They don't do a ton of damage, but they chip away. They certainly chip away. Right, ooh, look at that like pattern we're making with them when we shoot. That looks pretty cool. Oh my god. I'm trying to drop bombs on him, but it just I end up just eating them away by accident. We're going to get one more use of our active before the, uh, the boss fight as well. Yeah, this should be enough to easily kill you. There you go. And yeah, we're going to get one more use of our active. There you go, beautiful. That's a lot of fellas. Look at the cubes of rot. I think our leeches can actually do damage now, you know. I think the leeches, like, will sink underneath him. Bombs are doing good here. Goddamn fitches from stalagmites are spawning. Kind of funny. Okay. 
think we're going to be able to skip past a phase here, you know. Maybe. Might not have quite enough bombs to do it, but we'll see. God damn, the cubes of rot destroy tears. And so, I can kind of just stand here. Create my own holes in this. Yeah, I gotta say, I knew we'd skip a phase. Good stuff. And then it's just chill out. Relax. Let the game take care of itself. Still got a holy mantle and everything. Beautiful. I'm surprised the game doesn't have more achievements for stuff like kill the beast without taking damage, kill delirium without taking damage, stuff like that. Doesn't really have anything like that, does it? Oh, I lost my holy mantle to that though. It's literally fine. I don't, I don't care. There you go. Nice easy win, and let's see if it's a C-section unlock as well. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A very fun one indeed. And indeed it is. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.